So good day. I would like to address today our health workers in the region, doctors, nurses, paramedics, and laboratory staff. You remain at the forefront of the fight against the threat of Zika virus. Until today, the 16th of February, 2016, no Zika virus cases have been reported in our region. But this obviously does not mean we are safe from the disease. Our surveillance systems need to be strengthened for the early detection of any potential importation into our own countries. And as you might be aware, Zika virus usually causes mild symptoms. Only one in five people infected with Zika virus may develop clinical symptoms such as fever, skin rash, pink eyes, muscle and joint pain. And these symptoms normally last for two to seven days. So if you are examining patients who have these symptoms, you should inquire about their travel history. Patients who develop these symptoms following recent travel from any of the countries where Zika virus is currently circulating need to be properly assessed and investigated. And given the possible link between Zika and microcephaly and neurological complications such as Guillain-Barre syndrome, it is also important to look for any abnormal increase in the number of birth defects like small-headed babies, for which no medical cause can be identified. Such an increase needs to be properly investigated to find any link with the Zika virus. Early and rapid detection of cases will make all the difference if we want to keep our region free from the threat of this viral infection. And we in WHO are working with all our member states to improve surveillance for early detection as well as diagnosis of cases. So I urge all our health workers working in public and private clinics and hospitals to join us in this endeavor. Thank you very much.